Well, last night was uh, pretty interesting. I ended up doing probably seven miles in the snow and two hours of that was in complete pitch darkness. Uh, not exactly my smartest move, leaving Tucson so late, but it ended up okay because there was a, well, heated bathroom. It kind of felt more like the air conditioner was on in there, but uh, a bathroom in the community center that I actually got to crash in for the night. So yeah, I slept next to a toilet. Um, got about 15 miles to Oracle and I'm actually picking up a box in Oracle. So I do have to cruise into there and hopefully I don't have too much snow to, to post hole in as I'm dropping down from Lemon. But overall up here at Summer Haven, Mount Lemon, pretty nice, especially the bathrooms, very nice. Just got down here to Oracle and uh, still pretty windy, still pretty overcasty. Got down here to pick up my box at the post office and decided to just go ahead and cruise over here to the place called uh, Chalet Village, which is an awesome little hiker motel. They have a hiker eight, big old hiker box, laundry. This place is pretty great. I went and got something to eat and just hanging out with, with Breakpoint and then uh, Nemore finally caught up. Nemo's having quite a bit of IT band problems, so he doesn't know if he's gonna continue on with me today. He might take another day off here. We kind of figure out his whole IT band problem and see if he's gonna keep cruising. But yeah, great little town and great little place if you're ever in Oracle. No water back on the trail, cruising out of Oracle and towards basically Superior. Got about 100 miles until Superior, Arizona, which will be kind of my next big stop. I sent myself a box there. Uh, Nemore actually stayed behind. His IT band's uh, messing with him pretty hardcore. So I hiked out with Breakpoint, and we're gonna try to put down some miles together. Probably do like a 20 something a day. The train from here to Superior tends to be pretty cruisy, like sort of flat so uh but pretty exposed so we'll see how the weather plays out if it doesn't get too hot and too sunny the next 100 miles should be pretty good pretty easy miles water Got out of camp pretty early this morning and we got here to Freeman Road and there was supposed to be a bunch of trail magic here as you can see the camper behind me. But uh, the famous trail angel Sequoia actually took the day off so we didn't get any trail magic from him but he did leave some snacks and stuff so we got a little something. And uh, sit here, dried all our stuff out from being damp from last night's condensation down in the valley. 
Got a little bit refueled and about to hit the trail again. I'm gonna to try to push another somewhat big day today. I'm basically trying to get into Superior in four days from Oracle, which is about 100 miles. So at least 25 miles a day is the plan. We'll see, we'll see what's up. Here at the end of another fantastic day on the Arizona Trail. Ended up doing just about 30, is that right? 30? 30. 29, 30? 30. 30, so second 30 of the trail and today was not as hard as the first one. Pretty cruisy terrain, although it was definitely exposed and a, a little hot. So got down in here into the world famous Sipsy Wash, Ripsy Wash, Ripsy Wash. There's supposed to be some more trail magic in here, but uh, we couldn't find it. That was today two, not one, but two trail magics today, which is pretty insanely awesome on the Arizona Trail. I was hoping for a third, but uh, no such luck. Found a cattle tank, got some water, found a pretty decent spot in the wash. About to set the old tent up, eat some food, crash out. Get ready to do it all again tomorrow. Party off and uh, rolling this morning. And having to stop to go ahead and take my jacket off because whew, I've already started to climb. Today is probably going to be a fair bit of climbing from as flat as it was yesterday. Uh, basically just climbing through these saguaro forests that are all around me. <sighs> Man. But uh, hopefully today is not as exposed as yesterday. I have a feeling it's going to be, but... Hopefully it's not that bad. Hopefully I can get some overcast. Trail gods, give me some overcast. We'll see. This section of trail is just so hot and exposed. Just whooping me. So decided to stop here under this like one little shade spot at this entire section to basically take a little siesta. Been here for about an hour, putting my feet up, dealing with a pretty gnarly blister that I have on my heel, which I'll spare you guys. Been dealing with this blister that just, I don't know, I don't typically get a lot of blisters anymore. And just, I guess it's all the sand, I guess it's the terrain, but it hurts. I think I'm about to pack it up and hit the trail again and see if I can make it nine more miles without withering up from the sun. <laughs> so, wish me luck. Long day, super wore out, but uh, look at this spot. It's pretty amazing. It's like a canyon over here, amazing view out there. The moon, pretty good. A little close to the trail, but pretty good spot. So, getting pretty dark. Gonna fire up the old coat soaking jar, 
eat a little bit of food, crash out yet again, and uh, get up in the morning and hike into Superior. I have been craving pizza with like chicken and green chili and mushrooms with like ranch drizzled all over it. Ugh. I need it, so that's, uh, that's my goal for tomorrow. Beautiful, beautiful trail. Harsh today, very harsh, but rewarding.